Hey everyone, this is Cyril Jeet and in this video, I will show you how to install Senster using cPanel. So let's get started. First thing, we need to go to the Senster membership, put in our email and password to sign in. And that will bring you to the members area. We need to do a manual installation. So we need to click on the button manual installation in the main area or you can also click on it on the sidebar. Next, download Senster to your computer using the click to download button and then select a location where you want to save it. The download will start right away. While it's downloading, let's go to our cPanel. Here, find the file manager and click on it. It's going to show you the hosting folders. Go into public HTML and then find the location where you want to install the folder or the subfolder. I'm going to install this in demo.senster.in. Click on upload and then select the file. It's called senster.zip. Once it's successfully uploaded, you will find a link at the bottom that takes you to that folder. Click on it. Here is senster.zip. Right click on it and extract it. That will take a little while. Let it extract. Once it is extracted, reload it and you will see the files. All the files are here. So now let's go to the URL where we installed it. Senster automatically detects whether the hosting is set up correctly and if something is missing, it will show you. Right now you can see all of the requirements have been met and you can click the continue button. But if some were not met and you needed to install the extension, here is how you would do it. Just find the link that says PHP pair packages. And then when the page loads, we want to go to the search box under find a PHP extension and applications package. Now you can check what package is not installed, copy it over here to search it and install it. Now that you've got everything installed, you can continue and proceed. And this is the place where you need to connect Senster to a database and you just need to enter the database details. We will need to create the database too. So let's go back to cPanel. And we need to find MySQL database wizard. Click on it and you will see the screen to create a new database. Let's give this database a name and click next. Now you will need to create a database user and password. Let's create a username. To create the password, we can use the generate password. It will give us a random password and we can put it somewhere safe so that we will be able to find it later and use it. Check this box and then create the user. Now you will be asked to create the permission and we can just give it all privileges because it needs to both write and read. Then click on make changes and the database is created, things are saved and you can now enter the database details into Senster and activate it. So just copy over the details and let's get this done. Let's get the password from the notepad that we had. All right. The database name is actually as same as the database username. So we will just keep it. And the database port is set to default 3306. So you might not need to change it at all. Now click on continue. Let's set up the login details now. Put in your name. And you will need to specify an email ID that you will use to log in. Let's put in that. Create a password for your login. Whatever password you want, you can type it here. All right, so now that's done. And if you click on continue, we will save this. And now we are actually all done. And if you go back to the home page, you will see that instead of the setup screen, now you see the login screen. And you can just put in your email ID, put in your password, login into Senster, and activate the license, which is a one time process only. Go back to the membership, click on manage licenses, and then click on generate license. To generate this license, we will need the URL where you install Senster. So let's go back and get the URL from the address bar. Remember, we only want the part that's the actual website, not the particular page. So only get the website URL. In this case, user verification. We don't want it. We just want the website URL. And then click on generate license key to make your license. Take it back and paste it. We will also need to put in your email address so you can either type it or go back to the membership and get it. It's totally up to you. Put that in there and then click on submit. 
your license will be verified and you will be taken to the dashboard of Senster. You can start your mailing campaigns. This was a one-time process, never to be done again. Now you're ready to go.